This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. It's time once again to check port 110. Yes, let's, it is. Let's get our pop on. <laughs> okay, so David asks, I know there are some pretty bad routers out there, but if you're just going to be streaming and browsing mostly, is an x86 router really worth the money? If so, what would be some of the benefits? Well, you know, honestly, I haven't seen a good plastic router at all. Um, some of the benefits are quite obvious. I mean, you're recycling an old machine that may not be doing something else. And, mm -hmm. you know, no matter if you go with PFSense or Monowall or Smoothwall or um, I forget the name of the other one that we tried out a couple seasons ago. Uh, th there are so many, uh, there's so many good distributions for doing it. Hell, even if you just turned it into a Ubuntu box with a little IP tables loving, uh, it's going to be so much faster. Just okay. less orders of magnitude. I don't know how many times I've had to like reset a Linksys router or something because some torrenting caused hey. too many connections and then what? You, you do that too at home, don't you? <laughs> Torrent? No. No, no, no. I'm saying like, don't you, you have a Linksys router at home, right? No, we don't. We have a Netgear, but... But yeah, you're yeah. like same, resetting same it all the time, right? Well, we haven't had to recently, but yeah, I've done it in yeah. the past. It's yeah. meh. Yeah, what's nice is like the uptime in the router here in the studio is pretty much since awesome. we moved in. You know, it's the same way. Unless uh, somebody screws on. it up, it's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I mean that's really it. It's just anecdotal evidence that it's awesome. I, ha I don't have any benchmarks to back it up. I just know that I'm never going back. Nice. Okay. Well, Steve says uh, this kind of goes along with the last question. He says, "Hi, chaps." Hello. Is he from Europe? <laughs> I don't know. Hello. You can say chaps here. You can say mates. Chaps. You can say all that stuff. I don't know. Well, anyway, enjoy watching the show and every time I get the opportunity. Although, shamefully, I have not seen all of your shows, I was wondering with all the cool gadgets and builds that you have produced and shown, if you have considered your green credentials. Reusing an old kit is great and, of course, very green. So any ideas on how we can build bespoke systems using fairly low power consumption or reduce fan noise, heat exhaust? Yeah, I'm a big fan of like we showed uh, last week the DC to DC power supplies. I use those uh, with, you know, for low power computers. Uh, oh, like, yeah. like the computer that's running this IRC wall here or some of the webcams or even our router. I always like to go with the low power stuff. And of course, even the stuff that's quote on display part of the set, that actually runs Proxmox pretty well. Um, and things like our the the recent build with that uh, full ATX guy. Yeah. Actually, do I have it around here? No, I do not. It's um, somewhere. <laughs> uh, the Hello Kitty backpack that's getting recycled into another mod coming soon. That's going to be even more wicked. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna put it inside of a fire truck and make it shoot flames and packets. Yeah, recycling. No, but recycling um, all the pieces. is good. Giving them away to your parents or something for them to do a build or... After you install Linux and then um, set it up with some remote assistance yes, software. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Very important. There you go. Making some Never art. Getting calls. Making some art, like some photo frame case mods, even though Ooh. they don't work. You or can or do that. you can make yourself a Triceratops out of old circuit boards. <gasps> yes, I saw that picture too. It was so cool. It was a Technos Photo of the Week. I think it was. It was We're awesome. We're going to have a Technos Photo of the Week here real soon, but we got one more, one more email to get to. Dennis! Yes. Thank you for your email. He says, know anything that is free or open source that will migrate all programs and files from one PC to another? Something similar to PC Mover? No, do not know the answer to that. I do not know a program that will do that. If you know <laughs> a program that will do it, email us so that we can let him know. But honestly, the, th the reason why I don't is because I've never looked because I kind of use like a different methodology since, oh. I mean, remember I was just showing you that netbook that I'm on yes. now? That I'm, I'm temporarily on an EPC. I've got that big 15-inch Windows machine. I've got now the, the other Acer. I've got my desktop back home. I've got another mini machine. We've got, like, I don't know how many machines I've used in the last while. And um, <laughs> I got so tired of trying to keep track of things and move stuff from here to there yeah. that I just went to the cloud. And you know, I've got my own Cloud FTP. I, I just I sync with FTP. I really should be using R sync. You're so R sync cool. would be like a really good segment for us to be doing. But uh, no, that and Spider Oak. You turned me on to Spider Oak. I I'm love using it. Spider Oak. Oh my god! And thank you for the referral people that have signed up. Oh like, yeah? yeah. Do you get a thing with that? You get two free gigs every time, or like one free gig every time somebody signs up I using your gigs. referral link. 
So, I love gigs. Yeah. Gigs are good. I sent okay. out my mine via Twitter and got some referrals. So thank you for signing up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And what I used to do when I'd like move from like when I was just on Windows, what I do from when I'd move from machine to machine to machine, of course, yeah. I would um, you know partition the drive uh, or use a separate drive. I started out just doing like the partition thing where you like twenty percent of the drive goes to the operating system oh, yeah. and to your documents, and then like because it's Windows, That's you have how to I format had my, it. Like very first one. Yeah. So every six months when I go to redo it, you know, at least I wouldn't mess up my D drive. Yeah. Then I went to like separate hard drive. I've tried the thumb drive thing. Honestly, I like just having everything synced, whether it's Dropbox or Fire Oak or too. your own FTP yeah, server. Yeah, it's so much easier. And then you don't have to worry about losing something. It's just up there. Yep. Yeah. Got a lot of my docs on a VPS over at domain.com that I pay for. Ooh. Totally not an ad. I'm just saying. It's yeah. really nice to be able to have things in one place. Yes. So that's my solution is to not have to try to move things, but have it either all in sync or all in one place. Cool. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And if you guys have suggestions for other cool programs that we could use to, I don't know, make our sync really easy to use or stuff like that, that would be fantastic. Uh, so hit us up, feedback at hack5.org. We'll be back in just a bit with the Technolos photo of the week and the trivia. I know you guys are waiting for that trivia. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a quick break. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but you hate wasting cash, get this. You could score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day at Jack Threads, the invite-only shopping club for guys. They're serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at brain-melting prices. Best of all, Hack 5's hooking you up. That's right, skip the wait list and join free at jackthreads.com slash H-A-K-5 to start saving instantly without having to leave the house. It is time once again for the Technos Photo of the Week. This one comes in from Simon. He sent in this picture of himself with his Hack 5 hoodie on all the way from the UK. So See, thank you. That'll keep you nice and warm. Nice and cuddly. They call them bunny hugs up in uh, Manitoba. Or at least that's what I'm told. Bunny hugs? Yeah, instead of, a, instead of a hoodie or a pullover, they call it a bunny hug. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. a USB bunny. Oh, never mind. Anyway, go on. <gasps> go on, go on, go on. I love bunnies. Send your pictures over to feedback at hack5.org if you want to be on the Technolust photo of the week. Actually, it'd be a Wi-Fi bunny because it would channel hop. Oh, my God. This is why we trivia. hack. It's time for the trivia. Yes, you just be quiet, okay? All right, it's time for the trivia this week. Uh, last week's question was, what fictional military supercomputer responds to the name Joshua? And the answer was WAPA. What does that stand for? W uh, War Operational Plan and Response? Something like that? Some, yeah, I <laughs> totally remember it being from that. It's actually, Do you? Do you? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know. Bonus points if you can give us the correct, uh, what is it? The, the acronym? The acronym. It's actually a backronym. A in backronym. that they came up with the acronym first and then just kind of, anyway. This like week's trivia question is, in the movie Hackers, Crash Override uses social engineering to get what info out of a security guard? I want to mm. say it right now. Shh. Answer at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some swag out of my awesome goodie bag. Hey, guess what's going to be at DerbyCon? Chicken butt. They're going to be having a uh, roundup of... They're going to be having a, like a like a marathon of like hackers and the <gasps> net and war games and stuff like that. Uh, so it's we a could... shame that I will be vendoring all weekend. So well, come by my table and say hi. Yeah, quack. Come and by, say quack. come by and say quack to Shannon, and then see if you get a ducky. Quack quack. I don't know. Actually, you can get these in the hack shop right now. So <laughs> yes, Woo! you can. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be at DerbyCon uh, this weekend in. Where are we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> so come on out. Seriously, no, this is like actually a pretty good location. When you look at the map, like, I'm dude, excited. nobody has an excuse. They Everybody's within a day speakers. or two from being there. There's lots and lots of cool speakers. I checked out the website beforehand. Like, tons of people are speaking. Yeah, we're going to be talking to, like, Kevin Relic. Mitnick yeah, and Kevin Relic Mitnick. and everybody. It's so great. Uh, Adrian Crenshaw, Iron Geek, he's going to be there. Um, Both Adrian Crenshaw and Iron Geek in the same room together. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah, show up at DerbyCon this weekend. Um, feel free to say hi. Yep. We'll be happy to see you. And remember to support the show for free and easy by subscribing on iTunes, YouTube, and other places where podcasts are served. And get your favorite goodies at thehackshop.com. Yeah. It's just hackshop.com. No the at the beginning. I just said the because it's so No, cool. I got to go register something. Thanks. 
Maybe I'll go over to domain.com later. Sorry. Anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, tune in Fridays for Hack Tips. Good stuff by Shannon and I. Little morsels of techno lust. And you and can follow us over on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook, everywhere else. Get Bebo. all the most up to date information on Hack 5 news and happenings. You can follow me on there because I actually update about news. <laughs> hey, I put a video blog up of some pretty cool, wicked hacks you can do with this guy. That's true. You did. Yeah. Actually, I just developed like the most wicked hack. You're gonna love this. Maybe I'll tell you. I'll tell you next week. It's oh. it's good. It's oh. good. Can I hear about it after we? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Cool. It will, yeah. It will drive your coworkers crazy. Give me the DL. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Okay. So, so you love it. so Windows key D. Okay. So you minimize everything in desktop, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Screenshot button or print screen. Okay. Take a screenshot. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, menu button, then V, then D. Which uh, turns off the this, turns off the icons on the desktop. Okay, so yeah. now you have no icons on the desktop, but okay. in your clipboard you got a picture of when they were there. Okay. And then Windows R command prompt MS Paint enter right Control V pastes that <laughs> and then Alt FS or something Control <laughs> sh save it in the user profile uh, okay. um, as whatever. And then I think it's like Alt F K F or something to set it as the wallpaper and then Alt F4 to close that and then Windows Key D to go back to the desktop. And then they're all like, oh hey, there's my document. Double click and it's like not happening and triple click. Angry click. Angry ah! click. It's the okay, yeah, fourth kind sounds, of click. That the angry kind click. Of funny. I like yes. it. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, angry everybody click. knows that that fun game to play. Yes. But it takes it a second to like set up on someone's machine, and this does it in like ten <laughs> seconds. Or, oh I've wow. I've totally done that. To I have tomorrow. to recycle some stuff now. But um, yeah, ten seconds to like just go by somebody's computer and be like, I like it. And yeah, I know. All fun. right. Well, we should end the there. show so you can uh, fix that before it burns. All right, we're going to go mend some cold cathodes, and we will see you guys next week from DerbyCon. Until then, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morris. Trust your techno lust. Peace. That's what we're about here on Hack 5. It's color coordination. That's why you tune in. Hi, Chew. You, Chew. I choose you, Pikachu. Sounds delicious right now. <laughs> You're freaking me out, man. Yeah. Charmander, Voltron, whatever, whatever. <laughs> wow. And so the Hack 5, Shannon and Darren watch you. I locked your tire.